Green, I wanted to take a second to thank you. Thank me? What for? For helping me out with student council, for staying by my side during the Civil War, and for always having my back as a fellow branch campus instructor. You're always there for me, just like Angie and the others. Or, no, what we have between us is something special all its own. So, thank you, Reen, for all the moments we've shared together. I should be the one thanking you, Toa. You've done just as much for me, if not more. We've gone through so much in school and work alike. Every moment we spend together is a precious memory to me. But still, don't act like this is going to be the end. Someday we'll look back on tomorrow as just another day in our lives. I'm sure of it. We're not done making memories just yet, Toa. Let's keep at it, now and far into the future. Yeah, let's. Reen, you have my gratitude. Uh, I do? Where is this coming from? Well, perhaps it's just the festive atmosphere getting to me. Ours was a long, arduous journey. But walking this path has allowed me to grow in ways I thought unimaginable. Not just as a swordsman, but as a person of principle. Strong and resolute. Reconciling with Fee. Training with Monica. And becoming closer to them in the process. Those experiences... And the fact that I was able to surpass my father are proof of how far I've come. Laura, you've always been there for me when I need it most. Like on our very first field study back when we were students, or on Byronia Island beneath the pouring rain. I wouldn't be here if not for that radiant spirit of yours, always shining bright to guide my way. In that sense, I think I should be the one thanking you. Rain. Tomorrow may prove our most decisive battle yet, but I know Class 7 has nothing to fear. The day will be ours. Together, you and I shall cut a path through on the wings of victory. I couldn't put it better myself. Um, Instructor Reen? Do you have a minute? Sure. What is it, Yuna? It might have taken me a while to say this, but, when all's said and done, I'm glad I came to the Empire. Glad I became a part of Class 7. The more time I spent with everyone, the branch campus, the instructors, the old Class 7, the stronger my feelings got. I told myself I had to hold my head up high no matter what came my way. My pride as a cross Belen depended on it. I'll do whatever it takes to get us through tomorrow. To help us find the path that lies beyond. That goes for you too, Instructor. It's not over until it's over. So don't give up. Not even for a second. I won't. Thanks, Yuna. We'll give it our all out there. Side by side. Yeah! Thanks, Rain. For everything. Instructor. Looking back on it... I've been a pretty shoddy excuse of a teacher to you guys. Especially to you, Reen. But in the end, I ended up growing just as much as all of you. Not just as an instructor, or as a bracer, but a person, too. Tomorrow, we fight for a better future. One where we can keep on growing. Together. Ah, what am I saying? You're all younger than me, so listen up. We're all gonna make it through this. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Understood? <laughs> Understood. Loud and clear. We'll pull through this, Instructor Sarah. Reen, I know this has been a long time coming, but I wanted to thank you. Emma. Being with all of you has taught me something. I don't have to be my sister, or my grandmother, or even my mother. I can be a witch in my own right, in my own way. Of course, I still have a lot more to learn before I actually get there. But still, I believe in myself. I believe I'll make it through tomorrow alongside everyone else, and one day become the witch I know I can be. This world of ours won't end. The future will come, and it'll be one I can spend with you. I couldn't ask for anything more, Emma. 
Side by side, we'll continue to grow and improve. Me with my sword, and you with your staff. The others, too. If we work together, not even the Great Twilight will stand a chance. Right. I'm very happy to have met you, Instructor Reen. Oh? What's this all of a sudden? Just... a passing thought. When we first met, we were nothing more than enemies. Not long after, we were partners, and later still, teacher and pupil. In every instance, you've always been there, looking out for me in some way. Meeting the rest of Class 7, getting closer to Milliam, all of those things have changed me for the better. I may not have been born a human, but I think I have become more like one. And for that, I want to thank you. Altina. That's something you learned on your own, from all the time you spent with everyone. All I've done is given you a little push now and again. Still, knowing I've been able to help even just a little, makes me happier and prouder than you could ever imagine. Instructor Reen! There's still so much left in this world for you to teach me. So much left I want to learn. It falls to us to pave the way to a better future. For you, for Milliam, and for everyone else as well. And to that end, you have my full support, just like always. Our mission tomorrow is nothing we can't overcome together. And overcome we will, Altina, just like always. Hey, Reen. Just wanted to tell you... Thanks... For everything. Fee. I never would have made it this far if not for Sarah. Same goes for you and the rest of Class 7 too. Zeno, Leo, and the boss taught me a lot themselves, even before that. But now I can use all I've learned as a bracer. To protect instead of destroy. So tomorrow I'll be giving it everything I got. No holding back. Don't worry, Reen. I'll keep you safe, no matter what. Thanks, V. But all you've said for me goes for you, too. United we stand, unbroken. That's what it means to be a bracer, right? So let's do everything we can together. We won't let tomorrow slip out of our grasp. Got it. Schwarzer, um, I know I'm late in saying this, but you have my thanks. Duvoy. I know for a fact that I've grown for the better working alongside you. It's thanks to you that I was able to face my lord as an equal. And in the end, I managed to show her just how far I've come. It's been a long journey indeed, but it was well worth the while. I've made some wonderful friends in all of you. We feel the same way. I'm glad you're here with us. Not just for your fighting prowess, your devotion is something we've all been able to learn from. Let's press through with all we've got tomorrow. We won't let Leanne down. Hmm. You don't need to tell me twice. My lord's footsteps are mine to follow. I am a proud warrior. And come what may, I will stop this ridiculous war before it comes to pass. Reen, it appears my thanks are in order. Thanks? What for, your highness? I was just thinking of how much you've done for me and my family. The number of times you and Elise have come to our aid are more than I can even count. Like with Cedric two years ago in the Infernal Castle. Or with Oliver and his radiant wings. You rescued my mother, and you visited my father in the hospital. Um, I'm not really sure I can take credit for that one. But it is true that Elise and I have unbreakable ties to House Arnor, as do my fathers, the both of them. I'm honored we share this connection, not just as noble houses, but as people. As am I. 
I thank Adios every day for bringing you and Elise into my life. We in House Arner love you as one of our own. You must survive tomorrow. If not for us, then for Elise as well. And as for Cedric, I pray you help him come to his senses. Of course, Your Highness. Instructor Reen, allow me to apologize. Apologize? What for? Back before we met, when Elise had told me about you, there was a part of me that thought of you as nothing more than a pawn to be played. You, the Ashen Chevalier, the young hero who saved the nation. Your past, your relationship with the Chancellor, all of it factored in my calculations, my plans to use you. Yeah, I guessed as much. Given your keen, analytic mind, I'd be surprised if you hadn't thought of me like that. But now that you're telling me this, I assume that's all in the past now? Indeed. Ever since that evening, two months ago, at the field exercise camp. You and your classmates do have an effect on each other. You might be able to limit that, but you can't escape it. I'll be watching to see how that changes you. All of you. Those words of yours strike me just as deeply now as they did then. And strangely enough, tonight on the eve of Operation Meal Mirage, I don't feel even the slightest bit of fear. For that, <laughs> you have my sincerest gratitude, and my deepest apologies as well. It's fine. Don't worry about it, Muse. And let me thank you as well, for all the time we spent together. <sighs> Neither of us want to have to rely on this plan of yours. So let's do everything we can tomorrow to find victory on our own terms, together. Yes! You have my word, Instructor Reen. Well, guess this is as good an opportunity as any. I'd like to thank you. For everything. Celine. At first, I was just a familiar, only doing what I was told. But through Emma, I met you. Being around you has helped me to understand subtleties in human emotions I'd never even cared to notice before. For all that's happened, I'm glad I got to experience it with you. I feel just the same, Celine. Remember all that tension between us when we first met? Feels like just a happy memory now, huh? Oh, come on. You're not still on about that, are you? Still, I think I understand now why Rose decided to live as a human. I've always avoided taking this form before, but now I almost feel a little proud of it. Celine. I won't back down after coming this far. Not when I have so much to live up to, as Emma's familiar and Rose's successor. Besides, I'm just as much a member of Class 7 as any of you, so count me in for the long haul. I will. It helps to know we'll have you at our side tomorrow. We'll need your strength if we hope to make it through. Thanks, Reen. Crow? What's this all about? Well... This will probably be the last time we can hang out like this, you know? Overtime's got to run out eventually. But hey, short as it was, we really ran with it. And here I was supposed to be the one helping you. Things ended up a little topsy-turvy on that one. You guys have grown. More than I'll ever get the chance to. It's going to be an honor fighting by your side tomorrow. Crow, you're not the only one who feels that way, you know? I mean, I am the sacrifice, after all. Who knows what'll happen to us tomorrow. Still, with you by my side, I know we can overcome anything. <laughs> then I'll be with you to the very last second, Reen. The Jaeger King and the Steel Maiden might have made some dramatic exits. But Crow Armbrust of Class Seven's gonna blow him out of the water! A show off to the end. I'm counting on you, partner.
Reen, I wanted to thank you again. Huh? Why? For something I've realized time and time again, with every hardship we overcome. My music has the power to touch the hearts of all who hear it, even now on the eve of war. Honestly, there have been times where I forget that, times when my nerves get the best of me. But you never stopped believing in my music, even when I almost had. Knowing that gives me the strength to pull through. Of course I believe in you, Elliot. Your music deserves to be heard not just across the Empire, but all over Zemuria. And maybe even beyond that, I know you can reach that far. Aww, now you're just being mushy. But I won't let you down. Like you said, someday I'll reach everyone. So let's do everything we can to make it through tomorrow. After that, I'll play till my song rings throughout the entire world. I'll be looking forward to it, Elliot. You know, Reen, thinking back on it, it really is amazing how far the both of us have come. Yeah, I've been thinking just the same. And tomorrow, everything will finally come to an end. I owe you a lot, Reen, for everything. These wings I've been granted weigh heavily on me. Sometimes, it felt as though I could barely stand. But knowing I had all of my friends behind me, and you, most of all, was just the second wind I needed to stay my course. And so, I swear, not as the Soaring Phoenix, but as Gaius Warzel, member of Thor's Military Academy, Class 7, I will protect this world to my dying breath, for Nord and for the Empire, both of my homelands alike. I won't leave your side, Reen, no matter what peril we face. Thank you, Gaius. You don't know how much stronger that makes me feel. Let's make it through to the end, together. Yes. We will be the gale that stops death itself in its tracks. Instructor Reen, I'd like to thank you for everything. Oh? Why now, all of a sudden? There's no particular reason. This just seemed like an opportune moment. Whether it was over my training or because of Prince Cedric, whenever I felt lost, you were close at hand to lead me back to the right path. Under your guidance, I've managed to avoid losing sight of myself. Moreover, I've gained both the skill and resolve I once lacked. Tomorrow is the perfect chance to return the favor, to pay you back for all you've done for me. And so I swear, on the honor of the Vander name, I will protect you. Thanks, Kurt. I'll be counting on you out there. I swear to you too, on the name of the Eight Leaves One Blade, we'll get through tomorrow. Side by side. Of course, Instructor. Swordsmen like us can strive for no less. Hey, Schwarzer. One last thing. What is it? You seem serious. Well, this really might be the last time we see each other. I'm only gonna say this once, though, so listen up. Thanks. Ash. <laughs> wow. I never heard you say that so earnestly before. <sighs> Don't make a big deal about it. Just figured it was the right thing to do with everything that's gonna happen tomorrow. Joining up with you and all the other clowns in Class 7 ended up helping me find myself again. So I'm ready to settle some debts. For everything that happened 14 years ago, and all the crap I put us through too. There's someone else I owe too. A certain nosy-as-hell camp counselor who goes around carrying more than his share of burdens. Then in that case, allow me to thank you, too. You're not the only one who has debts to settle with the Great Twilight. And we're going to do just that tomorrow, Ash. Let's show this curse we're stronger than it gives us credit for. 
No need to tell me twice. You got my back and I got yours. Reen, I realize I've put off saying this for quite some time, but I've always considered you a dear friend of mine. Useless. I lost my mother when I was young. My father was arrested during the Civil War. And my brother, well, we know the path he's gone down. And then there's Millian. The fact that she's still there within the sword is more of a blessing than I could have hoped for. Despite all that's happened and all I've lost, I can yet stand tall with pride. I owe that to all of Class 7. And to you, most of all, you have my thanks, Reen, for everything. Uses, I... I wasn't expecting you to say that, but I feel exactly the same. We have a long road ahead of us tomorrow. So let's get through it together, for Milliam and the countless others who've helped us along the way. <laughs> but of course, that much goes without saying. Reen, if it's all right with you, I'd like to extend my thanks. Well, of course it's all right, but what for, Machias? We faced many obstacles together, and we've overcome each and every one. As an inspector, I've had to question my morals, my sense of justice, even my own father. I've matured, not just as a guardian of the law, but as a person. Even through all the ignorant acts and callow remarks I made back in our school days, you always stood by me. So, what else can I do but thank you? Aw, oh, Machias, I didn't take you for the sentimental type. But you know, I should say the same about you. You've always been there to remind me to push forward. No matter how tough the circumstances, you always find a way to look ahead and take the first step. I'll need the strength of yours again tomorrow, Machias. I'm counting on you. And I you. Let's show them what we're made of. Our principles and beliefs are built from everything we've been through. That's why I know they'll never fail us. Hey, Reen. Thanks for inviting me out tonight. <laughs> of course. You don't need to thank me for that. I just thought I'd never get a chance to spend time with you like this again. I mean, sure, it would have been nice to be here under better circumstances, but despite everything going on in the world, I still enjoyed our time tonight. Every last moment of it. So, thank you. I mean it. Elisa, I should be the one thanking you for always standing by my side. We both have a lot at stake in tomorrow's battle. But that doesn't mean we have to face it alone. We'll get through it all together, Elisa. Hand in hand. Right. Hand in hand. Reen, I just wanted to let you know that I feel so lucky to be your sister. Elise. The war starts tomorrow. No one knows what'll become of the world afterward. Or you. But strangely enough, I don't feel the slightest bit afraid. I'll be right there for you on the Courageous too. Even in the heat of battle, our hearts will remain connected, side by side. You're exactly right. And I'm lucky to be your brother. I have both my fathers to thank for that, I suppose. And, of course, Mom as well. We're the children of the Swarzer House. Let's give it our all tomorrow. We'll get through this safe and sound, and show Mom and Dad just how far we've come, together. Yes, let's! 